So if you just bought a new DSLR or mirrorless camera and you want to get the most out of it, this video is for you. This is 6 must have camera accessories for your new camera. Number 1. 2 or more extra batteries. And this is actually advice that I ignored myself when I got my first mirrorless camera. I was like, I'm not a professional photographer anyway, so who needs extra batteries? But I soon realized that it can be a real lifesaver, so now I have this little bag where I keep fully charged extra batteries for all my cameras and devices, so I can easily bring them with me. And it doesn't need to be that your camera uses up your battery, it could also be that you simply forget to charge it overnight, and then you have a really great photo opportunity, but you're unable to take care of it because you don't have a battery. So get yourself extra spare batteries. I like the pirate brand Yupio. They are very cheap but good. Number two, proper multi-battery charger. Now that you have yourself a whole army of extra batteries, you need an efficient way to charge them. And I would recommend that you simply get yourself an external charger with uh, two or more slots for batteries, so you can charge all your batteries very easily. A lot of cameras these days come without an external charger. They expect you to put the battery into the camera and then charge via USB. And this makes it very hard for people like me who are lazy. A lot of cameras come with this kind of charger with only place for one battery. That could be okay in some cases, but I would recommend you to get one with several slots. Number three, high quality easy snap camera strap. It is pretty mind-blowing that you can buy a camera for $3,000 and still get the worst possible quality camera strap that you could imagine. Uh, I don't know why they do this, but I would recommend you to get a proper camera strap. For example, this one by Peak Design I like a lot. It's the same kind of material as a car seat belt, so it is pretty strong. And the best feature is that you can easily snap it off from your camera. Uh, for the cases where you don't need a strap on it, it's very convenient. Uh, with a traditional camera strap you would have to like spend five minutes untying it and stuff, and then tying it again. With this one you can just snap it very easily. And if you have several cameras like I do, you can just have these small round things on all of your cameras and then change the strap between them. Wonderful. Number four, battery grip. If you find yourself taking a lot of vertical shots and you find it kind of inconvenient to do that, or if you find yourself running out of battery all the time, or a combination of these two, I very warmly recommend getting a battery grip. It is such a nice feeling to be able to take vertical shots uh, conveniently, and it also doubles your battery life. And uh, an original grip like this one from Canon is very good because they have all the controls that you have on the camera so you can adjust exposure and stuff without a problem. A battery grip, you simply remove your battery and your battery cover and then you put it in like this and use the tripod mount to screw it on. This is a cheap battery grip that I got from China for my Sony A7, but it's still pretty good. Number 5 a nifty 50 lens. I find that many people, they buy a DSLR with a kit lens, they use it for a few weeks and then they just get bored with it because they don't take any nice photos. They don't manage to take any good looking photos and therefore they get bored with the camera, it lies on a shelf for a few years and then they sell it and that's it. I think it's because you never really start exploring the world of really good lenses. And the first step towards doing this is buying a nifty 50 lens. It's very cheap and you can get this nice cool looking bokeh and you can get this professional look in your photos very easily, which is hard to get with a kit lens because it isn't fast enough. And I mean, a nifty 50 lens, for example, the 50mm f1.8 from Canon, it's just like a hundred dollars or maybe even less if you buy it used. And it's a very, very good lens for the money and I think it's a really good first lens. You could also get a corresponding lens if you're using Micro Four Thirds, for example, you buy a 25mm f1.7, I think this is. And it is also like a nifty 50, it's a very good lens for what you pay. Number six, a soft and compact camera case. A good lens is very important if you want to keep your photography enthusiasm alive, but so is also bringing your camera with you everywhere. 
and most cameras come without any kind of case or bag or anything but I think getting something like this, a very small and compact and soft camera case is very important because then you can all of a sudden put your camera in any bag and bring it with you everywhere these kind of cases you can buy very cheaply from like eBay, uh, from Chinese sites and this is an example of a pouch for a lens which is also very handy. Just put your lens in there and then you can have any lenses with you in any bag. I mean it's a matter of taste what kind of camera bag you like but I personally like to be able to use my normal bags for camera stuff uh, because then I can adjust depending on how much other stuff I'm bringing with me and I also like that it doesn't look like a camera case so no one will try to steal it or anything you can just be more like incognito in some cases I like this kind of bag it's like a really really small camera bag with a strap but it's still small enough so you can put the bag in a bigger bag but it's big enough to house your camera and a lens and as you know, the best things in life are free, so my tip number 7 is to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get a lot of nice inspiration and tips going forward. I try to post videos at least once every week. See you soon again.